it is time. It is time for me to return to East. We're going into East, the Oath of Falgana. This is East 3. We beat East 1, East 2. Those games were great. East Origins. Now, I'm returning to the very first East game that I ever played. Um, it is... It is... Uh, I don't know. I didn't have any lore before on East. And now that I've played it, now I feel like... Um, I might catch some stuff that I didn't before. Um, <clears throat> so I'm looking forward to that. I haven't played East the Alta Felgana since I played it on my PS Vita like years ago. Um, so I'm glad that now I have lore behind it. Uh, so when I'm replaying it, maybe I'll catch some stuff that I didn't before. Played through East Origins, East 1 and East 2. Now I'm so freaking psyched to get to East 3. Let us begin. Um, let's see. What is use analog as digital? Can we lower that volume? Should I lower it? Is it already kind of loud? I don't know. I think that should be fine. That should be fine. That should be fine. Let us begin East. The Othafeld Ghana. Normal. Let's play it through on normal. East, the Oath of Felgana. So he left. He left Astera. He left with Dogi, apparently. Well, I know. Here we are. This is uh, this is Felgana. I was hoping to get here a little earlier in the day, but I wasn't expecting the waters to be so rough. Still, this place does bring back memories. Hard to believe it's really been eight years since I left. There's Margo. I always called her Mams. An old gardener. Not to mention, Ches not to mention Chester and Elena. <laughs> I wonder how they're doing after all this time. Why did you leave and go into that tower? Like, isn't it kind of dangerous? Oh man, what the hell happened here? This monument's dedicated to the god of safe journeys. It's a relic of the old religion, from when people believed that spirits existed in stuff, even in stuff that wasn't alive. I just don't get why anyone would deface it like this, though. I guess maybe the rumors really are true. What was that? It came from over there. Hey, wait up, Adol! Damn it, he left behind again. Oh, no way. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! What the hell are the monsters doing in Felgana? M monsters? Here? What are they doing this close to town? Chester? I'll save you with my actual slashing. <laughs> Attack, jump, uh, jump, slash it, lunge it, up a thrust it, down a thrust it. Oh my god, it feels so good to actually attack. I can't, I can't express how great it feels to actually be attacking and not freaking be bumping into people. What is boost mode? How do I use it? I freaking I know how to boost. Rawr, come on. Oh yeah. Oh, I feel so good. Oh, I feel so good. Excuse me. Thank you ever so much for saving me. You're a traveler, are you? Um, are you hurt? You're not Lilia, girl. Don't try to make no moves on me. Just don't tell Lilia. Ugh, <laughs> are, you, are you all right, Adol? Right when you ran off, I got attacked by monsters too. I'd like to know what the hell those things are doing in Felgana. Whoops, excuse me. I guess they must have been after you. Are you okay, miss? You don't look like you're her, at least. Huh? What's wrong? Something on my face? Am I like covered in monster gore? Where should we probably get moving and head to town before we're attacked again? 
can't really, I can't say I recognize your face, but you gotta live in Redmond. I figure. Dogi? Uh. I knew it. I must be dreaming, Dogi. You're actually back. What have you been doing all this time? Uh, hey, uh, hold on a second now. You're obviously you obviously know me, but I, do I know you? How can you even say that? You, you, me, and my brother used to play together all the time when we were kids. Don't you dare tell me you've forgotten. Oh, no way. When I last saw you, you were just a skinny little tomboy. Well, that was eight years ago. I'm 17 now, in case anyone was wondering. <laughs> just for the record, I'm 17. Man, you sure are. Well, what? <laughs> I'm sorry. Where are my manners? It's nice to meet you. And again, thank you very much for your help. My name is Elena. Elena Stodart. Man, I really wish I could have got like a patch for like the voices from the PSP version. Cause it's so it would have been so much better. Around this world, hope would all oh, wait. No. Around this world, hope would always be there. Dialogue. I missed that first part. God dang it. So I like how, like, there's still stuff going on all over the planet that's not, that didn't involve East. Anime. Old anime. Well, I don't know if you guys saw that. There was a weird, like, there was a weird effect where there was, like, a line. I don't know if it was because it stretched. I hope that was just on my end. I hope that wasn't actually in the capture. That was weird. Hold on one second, guys. I just got to check out move my window a little bit. There we go. Uh, Elena, where have you been? You had me worried sick, staying out so late. I'm sorry, Mr. Garner. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. I just... It's okay, Elena. As long as you're here, you're alright. We'll pretend this never happened. So, what are you two... Who are your two friends? I don't believe I recognize either one of them. Yo, Dom, what's up, dude? I just got your text message. I was just about to respond as soon as I get to that part where I could, where I could do that. Nope. Wait. Look a little closer. You get in there. You get in a second. Huh? Hey there, Gardner. 
Still standing at the gate like always, I see. What? Wait. Jogi, is that really you? <laughs> you guess it. Uh, it's been a while. I've been a little out of touch. Sorry. I'm stuck in like some tower or something. My favorite little troublemaker has come home. Where have you been all this time? And how have you, what have you been up to? Well, you know, wandering, killing. I mean, killing monsters. I didn't say killing. I ain't kill nobody. You can't prove it. Saving the world, the usual. Anyway, brought a pal of mine along. Go on, Adol, introduce yourself. Adol introduced himself to Gardner. An adventurer, eh? Well, that's certainly a rarity. But from the looks of that sword on your belt, I can tell you're no amateur. No, I saved the world from a god, so, like, yeah. No, he's quite remarkable. I was attacked by monsters just now, and he came right to my rescue. Is that a fact? Well, then, you have my thanks, good sir. I'm sorry he wasn't there to help. That's the problem with gate duty. You miss all the real trouble out in the field. It's not because I'm a huge coward or anything. I just want to stay at the gate. I can't leave my post. Not for nothing. Does raise a point worth discussing, though. Why are the monsters here in the first place? We'd heard rumors that Felgan had fallen on hard times. But I had no idea it had gotten so bad. Yes, I think certainly are looking up these days. It's been pretty bad around here for a year now. We're rarely visited by anyone anymore. As a result, no travelers, no merchants. Man, that sucks. Well, it's getting late. You can tell me all about it when you've been there and what you've done come morning. For now, you should head on in and get some sleep. I bet you're exhausted after all you've been through. This looks good. Like I, you gotta remember, I played this on the PS on my PS Vita. I played it on a little screen, so seeing it like on my TV, it looks so good. It looks so good. Although, like I said, I I don't like that the Steam version didn't have the voices from the PSP version. There's not even a patch. I looked for a patch, and apparently there was one like like years ago, but apparently it doesn't work anymore, and that kind of sucks. Like, I, I really, really want... It would, it would have been the first game that I would have modded to have, like, extra. But that's fine. That's fine. I can do it. <laughs> this place sure hasn't changed much either. I used to live and work at this inn when I was a kid. I owe Mams a lot for looking after me back then. <laughs> hey, Elena, go get Chester, would you? I haven't seen him in so long, and we can't have a reunion party if everyone's not here. I'm sorry, he's not in town right now. What? Oh, no way! Oh well, what can you do? He's probably pretty busy. I'm afraid I'll be taking my leave for the night as well. My long absence likely had a few people worried, so I really should let them know I'm okay. Yeah, go ahead. We'll be fine here for the night. We're probably going to hang out a little before we go to bed. By the way, are you and Chester still living with the mayor? Oh no, he and I have a house on the edge of town now. It's just... Huh? Something wrong? Oh, it's nothing really. I guess I'll be off then. It was nice to meet you, Adol, and good to see you again, Dogie. I know you two must be tired from your journey. Please take it easy and get some rest, okay? She's acting kind of strange. <laughs> Probably just been a rough day for her. Man, though, she sure has filled out nicely. Do you see that hot rack? I mean, she's got the whole childhood friend thing going on for her, too. Who am I kidding, though? She's gonna fall for you, not for me. That's always how it goes. <laughs> right, let's just go inside. It's okay, I got Lily away and back from me in hysteria, girl. Doggy! 
I can't believe it, it's really you! My little nightmares come home! Whoosh! Swacked right in the face. And you didn't send no letters, how dare you! And look at those big muscles! You've grown so big! Last time I saw you, you were just a pudgy little bastard! <laughs> yeah, it's me, I'm back. You're looking well. You know I haven't heard a peep out of you since you left. Would it be so much to ask for some kind of contact? A letter at least? If you couldn't visit? Maybe some money, because we're kind of a poor f we're kind of a poor village here. I could use a little bit of gold, you know, or grease the wheels a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry, ma'ams. Well, I always figured you'd do well for yourself. It certainly is nice to see you back safely, though. And you're a friend of Dogie's, then? Adol gave his name and explained that he'd been traveling with Dogie for quite some time. One adventure. Who <laughs> One! One! He wasn't even a big part of it. He saved me from a jail cell. That was about it. I see! Well, thank you for looking after our little wayward wanderer. Unfortunately, you've arrived at a pretty bad time. Lots of unpleasant business going on lately. But still, happy events like these are rare, so I tend to enjoy this while I can. Ma'ams. You two boys must be hungry. Let me fix you up a nice big meal. And you'd better clean your plates if you know what's good for you. Waste not, want not. <sighs> so then, how is the investigation coming along? You have nothing to worry about, my lord. We've already confirmed their locations. The Tigray Quarry, the Illsburn Ruins, and the Sacred Mountains of Elderm. All that now remains is to organize the men and begin our search in earnest. <laughs> ah, excellent, excellent. Once I possess that what I seek, my might and majesty will be known far and wide. Indeed, perhaps my homeland could lay claim to all of Europe. What? What? Europe? Europe? In East? This is not the real world. What is it? What? Europe? That is so weird to hear. I don't even remember that from, from, from when I first played it. <laughs> Either way, this certainly should be an enjoyable undertaking. Wouldn't you agree? In your hands, my lord. I'm certain that dreams will become a reality. Ah, indeed it will. Indeed it will. I leave the search in your hands. Make certain it continues without interruption. I expect good news forthwith. You do me great honor. I pledge you my success, Lord McGuire. I shall see it that your faith in me is not misplaced. Oh, I don't expect to hear the harmonica theme, but I kind of do. So, Adolf, while I'm here, I'm thinking going to swing by the Elder Mountains for a bit to visit my old master. He's the one who taught me everything I know about fighting back when I was a kid. If anyone would know the reason for all the monsters showing up here, or showing up around here, he'd be the one. I be, won't be gone long, though. You should relax. The tour of the town. It's a really nice, nice place. If you have any questions, you can ask Elena. She said her house was on the outskirts of town, so I'm sure it won't be too tough to find. Well, I'm off for now. See you later, buddy. And Dogi was never seen again. <laughs> Until the end of the adventure. Oh, God. Oh, God. Can I run? How do I run? How do I run? There's no run button. Oh, God. There's no dash yet. Oh, hey, you're the guy who took the room next door last night, aren't you? You got some guts, I'll say. Certainly not tourist season in Falcana right now. Name's Antonio. I'm here on business from the Roman Empire. Have you ever heard of the thing called Ravel Ore? It's a really high-quality rock mineral native to this region, and it's also the reason I'm here. 
Is it like Claria or? Is it like Claria? Cause like all we know about is the stuff around the tower. We this is the first this is the first you know adventure into a land that wasn't you know didn't involve the goddesses. So like there's shit going on here. Let's talk to this guy. Joel, you look just like Chester. You're Adol. Margo told me about you. She says you're a close friend of Dogie's, an adventurer no less. Well, he certainly picked quite a time to come to Falgana. Plenty of bad tidings these days. Strange weather has been wrecking, ha wrecking havoc on our harvest, and monsters have been running all around, all around our other place. Whatever. Nobody knows what's next, and nobody really wants to know. Count yourself lucky that you're just visiting. Who are you? <coughs> uh, uh, thanks to Count McDumbass, I came all the way here from Garvin for no damn reason at all. There's always a drunk. There's always some drunk in the game. There's always someone. Huh? He got somebody here, right, Red? He ain't gonna try to make me stop drinking, are you? Yeah, better not. This bottle's the only friend I got. <laughs> uh, what, what the hell, man? This was supposed to be my big break. Heard I could go right from zero, hero to zero. <laughs> Did I say that wrong? Oh, damn inebriation. <laughs> Okay, I really, oh man, I really don't wish, I really hope I don't have to unlock a dash move. Oh, 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 oh no, hello, old lady. Uh, what do you want with me, stranger? Please just let me be. You're too young to have gone deaf. Please, just get out of here, leave me be. Oh, hello, you doggy's friend, right? You said you were dashing swordsman, but you're even cuter than I expected. I'm sorry we can't meet you with the bigger smiles. Not only was the harvest awful this year, but our taxes are up again. Damn taxes. I don't know if I'm going to keep food on my family's table at this rate. To top it off, the lord of the land has ordered the quarry closed indefinitely. So my husband's total unava totally unavailable for work. Like, totally. It's like our hands are tied here. Totally. And we're just waiting to starve. Totally. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, hello. Hey, I found Mr. Red. Amazing! Elena told me your hair was super red, like fire. I didn't believe her, but she was right. I want to play a game with me. You want to play a game with me, Mr. Adol? Daddy's gone to the quarry, and I'm just so bored. Um, no, <laughs> no. I don't want to be seen playing with the little girl by myself. No, thank you. Ah, hello. You're that swordsman who arrived alongside Togi, no? The name's Harold. I'm a local merchant. Pretty good one, too. Redmond is known for a local ore called Ravel. And I'm one of the best Ravel salesmen there is. Or I was, until... Or, anyway, until all this mess of the quarry came about. The accident, the monsters, the... The closure edict. The sure would be nice if I could get all this settled soon so I can start making a living again. We're all effed. Right in the A. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll start on this side. That's uh I don't think I don't think you can get stuff like that's not in chests in the East games. So it's like pointless to like look for chests. So Dogie came back after hearing all the nasty rumors about Falgana, did he? That's all well and good, but he still just up and left us eight years ago. And I don't forgive and forget so easily. Besides, it's just monsters. In my day, we fought off much bigger beasts using nothing but tree branches for fun. Mayor Edgar's got the right idea. He's out in the quarry with my son, checking up on some weird monuments we unearthed. Not going to let the counter a few piddly monsters tell him what to do, no sir. Well, miners are tough. We can't take care. We can take care of ourselves. Count McGuire's just being a damn tyrant, trying to close the place. They took our dirt. Uh, do you have other dialogue? You want to play a game with me, Mr. Adol? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, let's see. Wait, that looked like something. Oh, 
this rope looks like it's a little out of place. There's, wait, that looks like something. Nope. That looks like something. Nope. Dang it. If it's not in the chest, you can't drag, you can't grab crap. Uh, is this Elena's house? <gasps> it is. Let's not talk to her. Let's not talk to her. I don't want to talk to her. I don't want to talk to her yet. No. Uh, let's go to the church. Oh, hello. I don't believe we've met. Which means you must be Adol, that friend of Dogie's I've been hearing so much about. You're not Lilia, girl, but you're still kind of cute. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. My name is Nell, and I'm a devotee of the church. Is it true that you saved Elena from a pack of wild monsters? Words cannot express how thankful we are for that. How 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 grateful are you, Sister Nell? Like, how, how grateful? I've pledged myself to this church for so many years, and have known the Stodar children since they were very little. They've always regarded me as big sister to them, sister with the small s, that is. And I've always regarded them in kind, which is why traumatic events like last night's unpleasantness affects me so. What about you? Oh! You must be Adol! It's nice to meet you. I'm Father Jean-Pierre, pastor of this church. Elena's had quite a lot to say about you. I understand you're the one who saved her when she was ambushed by a pack of monsters. For that, I truly must thank you, from the bottom of my heart. I'm certain Elena has had her reasons for being out so late. She denied any, any of course, claiming it was just a flight of fancy. But I feel there's more to it than that. If I feel pressure, if I pressure her to tell me things she wishes to hide, though, I can see no good coming of it. Ah! But I digress. Please forgive me. This is our very first meeting, and I'm here. I am babbling away. <laughs> uh, may God's blessing you, or may God's blessing be with you in your travels. If anything ever troubles you, always remember the church's doors are open. Come by any time, day or night. Hey, do you know about the goddesses that I like helped? Do you know? Do you? <laughs> is your god better than my hot, hot, hot twin goddesses? I don't know. I don't know. But I'm gonna say no. This thing has doesn't have a lid. It looks like you can like grab something from it. Okay, I can jump. So yeah, so uh, like East Origin. Um, I I guess I because I looked it up. Like, the game that first started this kind of uh gameplay, I think, was E6. Or no no no, it had it had to have been this one. Cause no wait no, cause this one was a remake. So I think E6 started this kind of gameplay. And then when they remade uh, East 3 over here, and um, when they made Oath of Felgana, they made it like this. So, like, this was the second game of this type. And then East Origin followed that. Uh, I came from here. Did I go in this house? I did, because there's the old man and then the lady. Okay. Can I jump in? Nope. Can't do that. Okay, exit of town. All right. Is this the weapon shop? It sure is. Whoa, Cynthia, you look pretty, pretty sexy there, gal. Welcome, welcome, have we met here? Are you a traveler by any chance? That sword looks like it's seen a lot of action. Mmm, you should have it fixed up. The store deals in weapons and armor, along with a handful of our own specially selected curios. The boss is a bit eccentric, but you'll be hard pressed to find a better smithy anywhere else in the world. He's choosy about his clientele, though, so don't be offended if he turns you away at first. Just keep at him. Now let me see that sword. I want to talk to you, girl. Of all of our armaments made by our master metalsmith, Adonis, the shirtless wonder in the back there. He's not the most cultured man in the world, but put him, to put it mildly, but he's the best there is at what he does. Uh, can I? what can I buy from you, girl? Whoa. You look a lot better on your full pick. Well, not your more art. I can see more of you. Uh, do I have money? I have no, I have 10 bucks. I have $10. And there's, this is $800. I don't have that kind of money. I don't have that money. money. Um, where's my equipment? What's my, where the hell's my equipment screen? Oh. Whoa, 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 what button was it? Whoa, that is so weird. Why is clicking the right stick the menu button? I do not like that. I don't. I actually don't like that. That is so weird. I don't want to click the right stick 
to go to the menu screen. It's only when I click the right stick. That sucks. Oh, let me see. Oh, okay. I wish they kind of. I, I wish they did like the full portrait art. I kind of wish they did that, but I guess they did it like this for like the book look. Um, let's see. How do I save it? Can I? I can load, but how do I save? Um, what do I have? I have a short sword. I have a wooden shield, and I have leather armor. Look at that. They they still have the the nice detailed looking art too. I like that. See, they did that for all the East games. This is really see. They appreciate good art in the game. All right, let's talk to this guy. What do you want? I'm Adonis. <clears throat> I'm Adonis. I own this shop. And if my appearance hasn't given it away yet, I'm happy to confirm that yes, I'm a smithy. <laughs> From the looks of that sword, you know what you're doing at least. But I make it a rule to refine weapons and armor for people I like. And only people I like. Sorry, but you might as well just head home. Fine. I don't want, to make, I don't want you to make me stop. Bastard. Where did I get some money? <laughs> I want to buy a better weapon, god dang it. Can there anything? Nope. <gasps> the weird little gerbil, the Pickards are back. The Picards. The Jean-Luc Picards are back. And they squeak. Hey, hey, mister. Are you friends with that big mass of muscles my daddy tells me his name, Dogie? I assumed all his friends would be circus, circus strongmen. But you don't look like a circus strongman at all. But you're an adventurer, right? Which means you go, out, you go exploring new lands and fighting monsters with that sword. Can I be your adventuring partner? I promise I'll be really helpful. I'll fend off monsters with my Picard power. I'm always playing adventurer, so I know just what it's like. The enemies will be like, Rawr! and I'll be like, bam. That's funny. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go talk to Elena. She's she's waiting. She's been waiting patiently for us. Let us go and get her. Hey, Elena, you're looking good, girl. Why do you have a bird in your house? Oh, good morning, Ada. Is Togi not with you today? Adol explained that Dogi had gone to visit his old master at the Elder Mountains. Tex Gordy was added me to his or her friends list. Oh, that well, was not very nice of him, to be honest. He hasn't even shown you around yet. But that's Dogi for you. Eight years ago, he suddenly decided that he simply had to go on a journey of self-discovery to become a man, he said. I wasn't fond of the idea myself, but Chester sternly opposed it. The two of them got into quite a scuffle. They didn't make up right away as Dogi was about to leave, though. Oh, they did. They did make up. I'm sorry. <laughs> to be honest, I have something I need to tell Dogi. Remember yesterday I said Chester was out of town? Well, that's true, but actually, he hasn't been back in over six months. He left a note for me on the day he vanished. It just said, I won't be back for a while. I haven't even heard anything from him at all since then. Not a word. I'm not sure how to tell Dogi after he came all this way. Sorry, I didn't mean to dump all my apprehensions on you. When he gets back, I guess I'll just have him. I'll have to give it to him straight. I'm sure Dougie will take the news well. After he's seen and done with you, I. I well, hold on. Wait, what? I'm sure Dougie will take the news well. After all, he, oh, after all, he's seen and done with you. Uh, as well as he can, anyway. I talk to you again, girl. Actually, if you're wondering, that's why I left town last night. I heard that Chester might be passing through. Of course, it's just a rumor. I should have known that, but I couldn't bring myself not to go. As a result, you had to come save me, and I made everyone worry. I can be such a child sometimes. I need to grow up. I know I do. Okay. So, does that mean I have to go find Dogi? Is that, is that what it is? I think I have to save at the church. I can't remember. I think it's... May God's blessing you. Blah, 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 blah. Sister? What kind of lane has been to be doing out some late? I wonder. Blah, 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 blah. How do I save? <laughs> Where is the save point? There's no saving. There's God dang it, the click, the click, the clicking of the. Oh, so dumb. It's so dumb. Hold attack to use magic. No, that's dumb. Always dash once available. Why is that not freaking like always on? What is use analog as digital? 
I don't know what that means. Oh god, that feels weird. Hold on, let's turn that off. <laughs> oh god. I don't know. I don't know what that means, but whatever. Let's get out of here. It says dash once it's available. That means I have to get the ability to dash. That sucks. That sucks. What? Oh, 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 that's what I had to do. I had to activate the next part of the story. How many were there? I I'm not sure, but there were definitely a lot. More than I've ever seen before. I will save everybody. Tell me what's going on. Who are you? Adol introduced himself, and that's what was happening. M monsters started gushing out of one of the deep mine shafts in the Tigre Quarry. That's east of here. We only just barely made it out of there alive. But Mayor Edgar's still inside. So, so, so Dewey, that's the head miner guy. He asked me to go into town and get some help. Anyone who's willing and able. Dewey could do this job easily, but he left town a short while ago. Probably too far away to track down now, and I'm too old to go into those mines. I can't go myself either, since I'm the only one trained in defensive combat around here. I gotta guard the town. Hey, doll, I hate to ask, but could, we could really use your strength. Would you put your adventurous skills to us, for, or to use for us, and check out the quarry in my place? Yes, please. It would mean a great deal to me as well. The mayor, Dewey, and even Paul are in grave danger right now. Agree to help? Why would I not? <laughs> Thank you so much for this. I can't even imagine how to repay you. Uh, you can grease the wheels just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just give me a little. We're in the debt, Adol. Here, I've got a mountain full gun. You might need it. Yeah! I got the map of Felgana. You should also make sure you're well prepared, as it sounds like you'll be fighting some monsters in there. Take this and use it to get your equipment refined. Acquired, oh, ravio or rival or Acquired 50 gold. You cheap bastard! Go ahead, $50 is good for you. Don't worry, you, you should be able to afford a piece of candy. Because <laughs> you can't afford nothing with $50. Go talk to Adonis, the town smithy. Tell him I sent you. He probably won't give you the time of day. He's a stubborn one, but he knows how to pound metal like no one's business. Your equipment is in good hands with him. I do hate asking you to put your life at risk for us, but what we do right now? Show us what you're made of, adventurer. Fine. You give me fifty dollars and I can't even afford nothing. Can't afford nothing. Oh, it's you again. Doesn't matter how many times you talk to me, I pick and choose my own clientele, and I do not choose you! Adol relayed Garner's message. You serious? Gar Garner sent you? Guess that means you'll take good care of my work, if nothing else. Well, if Gardner says you're good news, then you're good news. Gotta do what the old guy asks. I can augment your sword, armor, and shield here. Just hand them over, and I'll make them better. Well, if you got enough ravel ore for the job anyway. Monsters often get stuck in their fur or claws. And it'll drop when killed, or sometime it's just laying around. I'll have to charge you a service fee too though. Or else Cynthia's gonna put a put up a fuss like you wouldn't believe. I'm not gonna get in there if I you know if I don't provide, you know what I mean? And the price varies per piece. As we've got this whole quality chart system in the place, don't ask me, it was her idea. So what have you got for me? You're part of my clientele now, Adol Kristen. So you feel free to come on by any time you need work done. Uh, let's get temper. Oh, wow. Okay. So it... Ooh. So in the other one, I needed... I just leveled it up from the goddess statues. In this one, you actually have to have, like, ore. Ooh. Sorry, I had to take a drink. After all that voices, I gotta, gotta keep, gotta keep myself lubricated. All right, let's level up my sword. Let's temper this piece. Booyah! Now it's level two. Ooh, well there's six weapons. Uh, let's see. All right, let's go. 
I think now I can leave. But how the hell do I save it? Do I save it? Oh, let me see. Maybe I save it from the here. Let me see. I have a real bad feeling about what's going about the going ons outside town lately. Feels like some big's about to happen. And whenever I get a premonition like this, it always seems like the worst is most likely to come true. All right, drunk. What do you have to say? Hey, Red. I got. I got a tale. I got a tale to tell you. Uh, you like tales? Sit, sit. I see. I, I came here because I heard the local lord was hiring mercenaries and inviting them just outright. So why the hell did I turn away at the gate? That's the question, and that's my tale. It is a mystery tale. They say the lord has got some bad influence. And look at the side of this castle. I'd say it ain't just a rumor. Which begs the question, why did I get turned away at the game? <laughs> uh, seriously. Okay, seriously, where do I save? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Is there no save point in town? Is it? Do I have to go to my bed? Sleep. No. 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 Okay, fine. Let's, um... I, I'm just, I can't do it. Let's just, let's just freaking go. Might as well. I really, really want to run. Oh, you save it from these things. Goddess statues. It's okay. Duh, I should have expected that. East Origins. Okay, hold on. Let's, let's check it out. Uh... 79 until next level. Okay, let's... Um, where did I come? Did I come from this one? I came from up there. Okay, I want to I wanna see uh, how much experience I get for a dog. Why is it always right there? Um, so 79. I get 5 experience for each kill here. Okay. So 20 experience for this group. I wonder. See if if. Oh okay. Let's see. Oh shit, flowers. Let's see how much those guys give me. Forty-five. That gave me. Wow, that one gave me fifteen experience. So there's ten. So this one is twenty-five for three enemies. So it's five more than the other. One. Actually no, it's it's more because there's oh wow okay no this is a this is a good spot. Now let's see if the exp scales. Let me see, I'm at 173. Um, let's go back. Oh shit, damn it! One se oh shit, I was looking at the wrong one. Okay, 428. Okay, 420. Ooh, okay, yeah, that went down. That definitely went down. Okay, let's. Okay, where do I go? Where am I going? It didn't. wasn't really clear. Wait, what's my map button? Shit, I didn't want to use my boost. I didn't want to use the boost. I was just looking for my map button. I'm, I'm kind of just hoping I'm going the right way. Um, is there a map button? Inventory? I'm going to... Oh, I'm going to Tigray Quarry. I'm going the wrong way. Okay. I'm going the wrong way. Let's, we gotta go back. I'm eventually gonna go to the mountains to get Dogi, but I guess I'm gonna. They wanted me to do this, so I gotta do this first. I don't know. I'm using the analog stick right now, but I kind of I I like using the D-pad. The D-pad feels a lot better. Uh, okay, I like how I went from like that one little 
stage transition took me all the way back down here. It's weird. I really, I really want to press like the start button and like get to the the menu screen. I might have to fix that next time I stream this because I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna beat this tonight. I'm not beating this tonight. This game I believe was actually a uh, pretty decent length. So uh, I think the next time I stream this, I'm gonna see if I can fix the where the map button is. It's a start button. His start button doesn't do jack. I wonder why it's like that. Wait, can I wait? Can I jump down there? Can I jump? Nope. Can I jump? Game looks great. I'm not gonna lie. The game looks great. I like it. I get. I'm getting like very. I'm getting reminiscent of like when I played it the first time. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you were a monster, but if you're not a monster, then who are you? And what are you doing here? Adol gave his name and explained that he had come at Ric Ricardo's behest. Oh, so you're the guy Ricardo got, huh? Don't know where he found you, but you sure do look the part. Okay, thank you. You're an eye saver. You know that. The man is still down in the tunnels, as far as I can say. The boss has been searching around for the entrance mainly, but I guess the man got himself stuck farther in. But, the last time the boss checked in was a while ago. Had to come back for so long, I started to get worried. I sure hope the boss is having eaten to those two. Bruh, gives me chills just thinking about it. Anyway, I really appreciate you coming. Please find Mr. Edgar and old Dewey and bring them out alive if you can. I sure will if I find them. <laughs> the, the source of Ravel Ore. Oh, wait, hold on, wait. Um, oh, I'm glad I can see the thing from there. Okay. So, uh, 282. Uh, whoa, okay. This one, wow, okay. That one gave me 18 experience. That's not bad. The, but they're still spread apart. The little spread apart. Although there's a good, there's a good number of them here. There's four. So if I ran back and forth, it might, it might be a good grinding spot. It might be. Ow. But. Uh, shit! Ooh, spiders. New enemies. Hold on, let's see how much the spiders do me. Okay, so I have 58. Uh, whoa! The spiders gave me 50 experience. Holy shit! Okay, yeah. Yeah. Let's fight some spiders. Look at that. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, 7.30. How much do they give me now? Uh, they give me 28. They went down by by just under half. That's still pretty good, though. That is that is actually still pretty good. Despite, okay, let's see what this guy gives me. 6.64. Six, oh, crap. Wait, hold on. Six five four. Six five four. Whoa! Whoa! Ho, 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 ho. Okay. Okay. That guy. That guy gave me over a hundred and twenty experience. It's about that much. I need another one. I need this guy. I need more of this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Give me more of that guy. Oh yeah, I remember there's more platforming in this one. Yeah, I remember I remember doing a lot more platforming in East or in East Oath of Felgana. Like this kind of this kind of platforming. Uh oh. Uh oh. Can't reach that. I don't have a double jump at it. I don't jump at it. I don't double jump at it. I must find one here. 
Is there fall damage? I don't think there is. Okay. Um, I want to say left is right. Left is going to be right. I feel like left, since that's towards the entrance. So that might be, um, that might be more. It might be. Let's find out. The storehouse. Okay. The door is locked up tight and solid as a rock. You definitely won't be able to get through without the proper key. I don't have it, the key. I needed the key. Oh, look at all this delicious experience. Ugh, especially when I boost off. Oh. It's so delicious. So delicious. You know what's great is that as I'm playing this, the day that I'm playing this, Oath of Fel um, not <laughs> Oath, Memories of Celseta East 4, Memories of Celseta, which was only available on PS Vita, is now on Steam, and I picked that up. So now I own all the available East games. Um, I even found, I even found the translated SNES version of East 5. That was the only the only East game not available to us, but there was a fan translation um, that I can play via an emulator. So I I could potentially play every single East game. I have the ability to play every single East game. So I'm really considering going like being like playing five when I get to it. All right, uh, let's go this way. I don't, I'm not gonna worry too. I'm not gonna worry too much about about grinding. I got I got I got a good couple of levels. Oh my god! Look at this spot. Look at this delicious spot right here. It's so delicious. It's right near an exit. So I just have to. Oh, whatever. That other room was pretty good too. That other room was actually pretty good. But this one has this one has a lot more of these guys. They want you to level up. Uh, 1372, okay. Whoa, shit, I got Ravel or times five? Huh, well, um, I could just go back to town and upgrade my armor, but I'd rather move on. We might find some more. Uh, ooh. Oh, shit, how do I get across this? Huh? Oh sh Oh! <laughs> That's what this little spot was. It was where you fell. It was where you fell. It was, it's the trap. It was the trap design. So if you fail that jump, you have to fight this little horde of enemies. I see, I see what you did there. I see what you did there, Nihon Falcom. Okay, spider. The spider was feeling left out, so I had to kill him. Everyone else died. Wait, is there a chest here? It kind of looked like there might have been like a hidden chest there. Okay, there's no, can't can't get across the gap. I need some kind of double jumper there. I need a double jumper there. Sword is on fire. I think I, I think I'm just able to boost. I think I'm gonna save that. Man, I like it when you when you get jump attack, but they knocks him out of the air. That would've been nice. How much gold do I have? I have seven hundred and twenty-three dollar, or seven dollars and twenty-three cents. <laughs> Whoa, hey you, what's your name? Who might you be? And what in the world are you doing here? 
Can't say I've ever seen you around before. You from Ballastine Castle? Adol introduced himself and explained that he came from Ricardo's on Ricardo's behalf. I see. Well, I'm glad you're here. I'm Dewey, the head miner in this quarry. I came here to look for Mr. Edgar, but this is as far as I got. He's in serious danger here, though I just can't leave him. Uh, unfortunately, the monsters down there are in a class all their own. Sword attacks just bounce right off them. Unless we could find some way of dealing with them, I don't see how we could possibly get the mayor out safely. Maybe check the storehouse. We have found some pretty interesting artifacts a while back, stored them all in there. Locked up tight, but I've got the key right here. Yeah, I got the store key. Since you're not a miner though, I'm guessing you have no idea where the storehouse is located. I know where it is. It's on the other side of the open air strip mining chamber. The big vertical shaft you pass through. There's a room with two doors at the bottom. It's the one on the left. Help yourself to anything you find in there. I hate to be so useless, but I guess the rest of it is up to you. Thanks much, Lee Adventurer. You're a good man. Yeah. Time to go loot. Time to get looting. I mean, after I kill these guys. That's the noise, that's the noise Adol makes when he attacks a bunch of enemies. It's like. It feels good to actually be attacking a bunch of Adol, a uh, bunch of enemies as Adol. You know, the main protagonist of the series. Like, he's chosen by the goddess, but he's not chosen by the goddess in other lands. So it's like, it, it's funny, like, he's the, ch he's the chosen one, yet he doesn't have, like, any kind, he's not, like, he's not special in any way that, like, he has innate powers or anything. He gets them from the artifacts left by Ys. Like, much like everyone else, the, the only ones that seem to have, like, match, like magic that is like that belongs to them is anyone who's a fact if you, if you belong to the if you're a descendant of fact you have magic like you're the only one that has magic a little fast way back speed run trans I should just beef up my sword. <laughs> Go back and just beef up my sword as much as I can. But then, like, there might be another sword I get soon. I might get, like, another sword. I'm thinking I'm gonna get the double jump out here, because I need to get across that gap. Let's use the sword. <gasps> Wait, I can go in that other room, too. Right? Why did it get so quiet? Why did it get so quiet? Let's not go in here yet. <laughs> there might be something that pops out of the ground, like a freaking graboid. Let's go. Let's go check out this door over here. I have the key. I wonder if it opens this door too. It did say I needed a key. It might have meant the storehouse key. Door's locked. Shit! Wrong one. Okay, so can only go in over here. But that just, it feels like I'm about to fight something. Like, it, the music just dies out. Like, something's about to freaking pop up. And there is. Look, this boss fight room. Stop. Whoa. I fought magicians in the past before. <gasps> what? This guy looks like, um, God, what is, what is the what is the guy from Rurouni Kenshin? I can't remember his name. He kind of looks like him. My name is Dularn, Shade of the Great Will. I would have you show me your abilities, red-haired swordsman. Dularn, the Creeping Shadow. Uh, okay, I gotta, I gotta lose this fight. There's no way. There's no way I can win this. Wait, can I? Shit. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. oh shit, I have to win this fight. 
Oh shit! Oh, thank God! It started me right at the fight. Ow! Okay. Okay, getting this pattern down. Dodge, dodge, and then. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Ow! Okay, he's only available after he loses the barrier and throws his swords. Uh oh. Okay. Ow, god dang it. God dang it! Should I go back to town? <laughs> Should I go back? God dang it! That is annoying. I have to be hit by those. It's like I have to be hit by those. Let's not hide in the corner. Oh no! I have to. I have to be hit by those swords. I have to. Ugh. Oh, god damn it. Oh, uh, I can only be hit by one more sword. Oh, what the hell is that shit? Good thing I just got a heads up. <laughs> I, good thing I just saw his phase two attack. There's something out. At least I learned something from that death. God damn it! Oh, oh, uh. oh! God dang it! Ow! Uh, no! I missed him. Okay. It's, there's like no way to dodge that. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna die. <sighs> okay. Okay. I, I got it. 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 It's this one I don't like. I, it's that one I don't like. It's so stupid. Look at that. I'm jumping in time. Look at that. I have. I have no time to react to his second attack while I'm dodging that first set. Shit, I didn't attack him. What the hell was I thinking? Look at it. There's no way. There's like no, I'm gonna die. Ow. Ow. Ah! Boost! Okay. Okay. Okay, I got it. It's dodging that. Gotta dodge all his damn swords. But uh, God damn it, I got hit by it again. How do I keep getting hit by it? I'm jumping over it. Ugh. See, I always get hit by one of those damn swords. One. Ugh. Shit, I didn't dodge in time. Ugh. God damn it. Oh, you whore! Maybe this will hurt. Uh, uh, uh. I know this move. Uh, oh, I don't know that move. Shit. Oh, no, he's got 42 health. Shh, shh, shh. It's okay. Oh, God. No, no, no. Oh, my God. Oh, I just gotta hit him one more time. Oh, please don't die. No! 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 God dang it, he was so close to dying. <sighs> Maybe I should. Oh, god damn it. Ah! I'm jumping. I'm tr I'm trying. I'm so trying. Uh, see, I'm trying to jump. I'm trying to jump over the swords. I'm trying. It's not working. Uh, 
See, I can't always get hit by one of them. It's ridiculous. I don't know how I, I don't know. Do I, is it tricky to jump at him? Ow! Oh God. Oh, I'm so gonna die. I'm so dead. Ah! Da! Da! Ow, it hurts. It hurts so bad. <laughs> I gotta. It's hard to do, it's hard to dodge those swords. It's hard to dodge the ones that spread out. Cause for some reason it's I'm hitting I'm always hitting one or two. Okay, I got this. I got this. I got this. Don't 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 rock the boat. Okay. Don't rock the boat. Don't rock the boat. Don't rock the boat. Don't rock the boat. Okay. Don't tell him I'm winning. Don't tell him I'm winning. Don't tell him. Don't don't tell him. Don't don't tell him. Ah. Whoops. Oh, don't tell him I'm winning. Don't tell him I'm winning. It's okay. It's okay. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. Don't tell him I'm winning. Is that the best you have to offer? Still, you have an unmistakable spark in your eye. We cannot afford interference at this crucial juncture. I must report this at once. I must take a drink after that. Oh! Oh! A victory drink. A victory drink. Gotta get that victory drink. Woo! Alright. What were you guarding? I got the Ignis Bracelet! What is that? <gasps> I have fire! Unleash my magic! Where sword fails, magic thrives! Attack, press the magic key, acquire one ruby, press and hold. Okay, so I get the charge if I get ruby. Um. That's weird. Um. Let me see. Adorned with large ruby, grants the ability to shoot massive fireball. Oh. Oh, that's weird. Oh, okay. That's the button. It's like I shoot the Hadouken! 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 Okay. I got it. I got it. Let's uh, let's save it right there. Now let's try this out. Hadouken! Well, it's doing it. It's doing as much as my normal attack right now. It'll probably do good on other enemies though. But that doesn't. I was gonna say that doesn't help me get across that gap. I need, I need help getting across that gap. I need some kind of double jumper there, and I can have you in the air. That's pretty cool. I need power up, power up. This music, this music is still good. This this music is still rocking. Still rocking my face. I still can't cross this gap though. I need some kind of double jumper there. Some kind of dash jumper there. We all know how good the freaking fireball was in East 2. East 2, God, the, the magic was all you needed. Magic was all you needed. And it was the only thing that could projectile. 
that was that was an actual you know like attack that didn't just feel like a slash oh shit the monster's gone here wait oh you know they were they were always here anyway, it's in the next one Alright, dude, I got the thing. Oh, I see you found the bracelet we unearthed here a while ago. Not too shabby an artifact, but I don't know. I just got an eerie feeling from it. Seems powerful, scary even. None of us wanted it, so we put it in storage. But you, you can use it better against the monsters down below. I will. I will. What monsters? Which monsters? I don't, I don't remember, you know, like, I, I, I played this game, but like I said, it, well, it's its own adventure, I don't remember too much about it, but when I play, it, like, a game, a, like, a series, in, like, kind of, in order, I feel like I get more lore out of it, and I remember it better. East, East Otafel Ghana, when I first played it, it was just like, oh, I played an East game, okay, it was alright, I didn't understand who Adol was, or his origins, and whatnot. But now that I, I've played his games and I played East Origins and I know more about the world, I feel a lot I feel a lot better going into the series, all the other iterations. Cause I know if like if there ever is like a a reference to anything else like the beginning games, I'll I'll get it. So I'll know a little bit more. But like one thing is one thing I wanna know. And I don't know. I I, I want to look it up, and I really I still need that art book. Oh god, I need that art book. I need all that sweet art. Um, I need some kind of double jump. Oh wait, can I kill that guy from here? Oh, get over here. I need to kill you. How much experience do you give me? I'm at four four seven. Ah! Oh wait, I could just kill them down here. <laughs> oh shit, these are the magic guys. Oh god, I thought I was dead. Ow. I gotta kill this guy in the air. He's being a pain in the ass. Hold on, hold on. Let's see how much these guys give me. Okay, 377. Uh, they give me like 45 experience. Not bad. The problem is you have to kill him with magic, and I don't, I don't have that much. Oh. I, I think I saw a chest. I think I need to get... I have to get some kind of double jump here. Have to. Yo, Greg, what's up, dude? Oh, I might not hurt him with the... With the, norm, with the normal attack, but I can still stun him with the normal attack. Am I gonna be able to make that jump? Oh, okay. Let's not find. Let's not find out if there's if there's something. If there's like a if that's a zone drop. What's going on, dude? Just get home from work. When you think East game, you think the 2D graphics. Um. Well, this was the very first game I ever played. This is like this is the very first one I, I holy shit. This, this is the very first East game I ever played, um, and this is like this was like the the style they went with after like after they made six. Um, because as far as I know, the sixth game was the one where they switched to this kind of graphics. Because all of them were like Super NES before, and then like they made six, and it was like this style. And when they remade 3, which is this game, they made it this style. And then East Origin was also this style. But when I get to East 4, which just came out today on Steam, that one is the PSP version, and that one is is like full-on 3D. It, it, it looks, it's like the precursor to, to how 8 looks. And it look, I tested it out, it looked great. I couldn't run it like it stuttered at max settings, but when I set it to high, it, it ran smooth and it was really good. Like it looked really nice. 
can't wait to get to that one. I have it on PS Vita, but I just never played it. I just, but I like that I'm like learning the lore of the East games now. Oh shit, do I go right or do I go up the mountain? Let's see, Let's see where does this, oh, treasure chest. Oh, there's an invisible treasure chest. How do I get it? Oh, wait, there's something on the wall there. Maybe if I light that on fire. <gasps> yeah! I got the ruby! <gasps> what the shit? Why did the game do that? Oh my god, why does the game do that? That's the... That's like the... Oh, that's happened multiple times, too. Not in the same game, but... It happened in, like, East 1 and East 2, where the, the game somehow clicked out of the box for some reason. Uh... Okay, but now I can charge my fire. Oh, power to power! I can charge. I can charge a charge. Oh yeah. Where is it? Wait for it. Wait for it. Hadouken. Let's do that again. Let's do it. Hadouken. What is it? Must. What is um? What is reuse? Reuse Hadouken called? It's like, it's like Masa, Masaro Hadouken or something like that. Greg, you'll, you'll, you'll know, right? What is, what is the, what is the powered up Hadouken called? <gasps> boss fight. Oh, this is totally a boss fight. Let's see what's over here first. Save. How many saves do I have? Oh, I have multiple. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save it like at like key points. All right, let's talk to this guy. Are you the, are you the guy? And who might you, and who are you? And what are you doing in a place like this? Shinku Hadouken? Is that what it is? Hey, dog, introduced himself and explained that he had come to rescue Mayor Edgar. Ad adventurer? Well. If you're looking for Mayor Edgar, here I am. Adol, was it? Thank you for coming all this way. I was accosted by monsters and managed to lose them here, but hurt my leg quite badly in the process. I was actually just about to hobble my way into the strange old ruins beyond here when you showed up. I like that you used the term hobble. <laughs> They're quite peculiar. I peeked my head in earlier, and I must say, I've never seen anything like them before. Adol, I'm sorry to impose upon you even further, especially since we only just met, but would you be willing to examine these ruins in my place? With my injured leg, I fear what might happen to me should any more monsters attack, but we've come all this way. I know it's rude of me to ask, but I'm sure you're just as curious as I am, no? So please, would you do me this favor? Sure, old man, I got this. Let's do this. Oh! Ah, uh, what does that look like? That looks like a. Is that a? That's a bat. That's a freaking bat. I see. It looks like the wings covering each other. With some kind of hook on his head, or it's a giant bell. It's a freaking bat. I see it. Or dragon. Or gargoyle. It's a gargoyle. It's whatever the hell that is. It's kind of hot. El fail the Azure Queen of something. I forgot. I didn't see what it said. <laughs> Shit. Ah, oh, Shinku Hadouken. Did it hit her? It hit her. Uh. Uh. Ow. Her freaking thing is like covers the whole freaking thing. And my freaking charge shot is in, a, is in an awkward spot. Uh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna go die. Ugh. Okay. <sighs> well, at least now maybe I'll get to see her name. She's Elfail, the Azure Queen of Death. Ah. 
Ah. No, Elf Elf. Why are you so hot, girl? I don't want to hurt you. Ow. I'm going to die. What the what? I got something for you, girl. Wait, hold on. Oh my god. The button layout is so weird. It's like jump is all is jump is the B button. X is the shoot button. And if I have to hold the X button and jump to shoot, it's like it's a weird. Oh. Oh. I don't like it. I might have to change the controls later. Later. It's like I gotta defeat him with magic because I gotta fight her at a distance. Like that's what this whole fight is. God dang it. It's so awkward though. Okay, when she, okay, when she uses her right hand, she slashes. When she uses her left, she shoots that one. Okay, I got it. I got. Oh shit, she changed it up. Huh. Oh no, she's changing it up. Shh, don't tell her I'm winning. Don't tell her I'm winning. No. Oh! Oh, I got her down to below a hundred, to a hundred, below a hundred. Whoa, what was that? She was doing new stuff. Okay, I got this. I got this. It's all about magic. This is all about magic. You can't attack her with your sword. There's, there's nothing. There's nothing. There's no sword attack. There's only magic. Ah! I got. You gotta. You gotta watch your hands. You gotta watch your hands. To see what the next attack is gonna be. She telegraphs it. Ah. Ah. I was paying attention. I was paying attention to what she was doing. It was kind of hot. Ah. Come on, come on. Oh shit! Ow! Ow! It hurt. Ah. I got you. I got you. Shinko. Hadouken. Are you dead? Yeah. Yeah. I took her. I, she became a statue and now she's mine. I got the moon star statue. The hot lady, the hot demon chick became a statue. And now she's mine forever. You gotta remember, this was like my first introduction to East, uh, these types of bosses. Where it's like, you got, you, like, specifically East series, like, all the bosses, you like, it's all trial and error. Like, unless you're playing on, like, easy, like, I feel like every boss, you're gonna at least die once or twice. I feel like it. It's all about trial and error. What were you doing here? You don't listen very well. I believe we've handed down a royal edict to close the quarry, did we not? If you'd just done as you were told, you wouldn't have gotten hurt. So spare me the lecture. Just do as Lord Maguire asks. Yeah. I wondered what had become of you, but I'd never imagined. You aren't really working for Count McGuire, are you? Oh, but I am. I'm a devoted knight in service of the great Lord McGuire. Therefore, I think I thank you to keep a respectful tone when you address me. Who goes there? You aren't from Redmont. What business have you here? Adol gave his name and explained the circumstances of his arrival in Falcona. A friend of Dogie's. Huh. I never thought he'd come back, and certainly not now. Huh. 
No matter. Lord McGuire's orders were explicit regarding the closure of the quarry. If you'd come to lead this old man out of here, then I suggest you do so immediately. Wait! What about Elena? Or do you even care that she's been worried sick about you? She doesn't even know if you're alive or dead. I've grown weary of playing nursemaid. She's 17. She's old enough to cope without her big brother. You should tell her to forget about me. Hell, coming from you, she might even do it. Ah, but where are my manners? It would seem I'd forgotten to introduce myself. I'm Chester Stoddart, a high-ranking knight in service of Felgana's lord, His Grace Count Maguire. Ain't all, was it? As an adventurer, I know you may be tempted, but I'd advise you not to get involved in our politics. That is, of course, unless you're eager to die. Doing his voice. Oh, God, my throat. <laughs> Count Maguire is the Lord of Fraudgarner. No, he's not native to this land. He's actually from Rom. And from the moment he took power here, he levied exorbitantly high taxes and pressured us into forced labor. Then, a few days ago, he ordered us to shut down Tigre Quarry, the town's prime source of income. Naturally, we refused, since he gave us absolutely no reason. And that's about when you showed up. To think that Chester would willingly serve a man like that, what could possibly be running through his head? He left his little sister behind too, and she hasn't heard a word from him in months. Honestly, I've had a hard time believing it. Even now, knowing what I know, I keep thinking it can't be true. And what am I supposed to do? Just tell Elena to try and forget about him? I couldn't possibly agree to that. I'd never be so callous. No. Uh, Elena, how long have you been listening? I, I heard you made it from the quarry and that you were hurt. So I, th I thought I'd stop by to check on you. And I overheard your whole conversation. I'm sorry. Elena! It's good to know Chester's alright at least, but that's little consolation right now. Ever since they were orphaned 12 years ago, those two have really watched out for one another. Up until about three years ago, they lived at my house and had always put Chester in charge whenever I was away. I figured I would teach him to be a responsible young man, though honestly, I never did get the hang of raising him. Adol, could I persuade you to go looking on Elena for me? Right now, I think she might find it easier to open up to an impartial third party. Yeah, sure, I'll go talk to her. Elena, we gotta, we gotta do some talking, girl. I gotta talk to you about, about something. I gotta talk to you about that booty, girl. <laughs> Let's go to the weapon shop. I want to upgrade my my equipment first. Wait, can I buy anything? Oh my, Ada, might I see that bracelet you've got there? I consider myself like something of an expert when it comes to old jewelry and knickknacks. Ada, pass the bracelet to Cynthia. I knew it. This is no ordinary bracelet. It's an ancient artifact with innate elemental energy trapped inside. Did you fit this little gemstone into inside it yourself? You've got good senses. Gem cells like these help increase the bracelet's power by magnifying its energy. Anyway, thanks for letting me fill up your jewelry. Maybe I can fill you up next time. You really stumbled up on something special. Take good care of it. Oh, uh, whenever you want, girl. Now let me buy let me buy something from you. Let me buy a freaking sword. And some chain mail. And I can't even buy a shield. That sucks. Why is it so expensive? It's so expensive. I want the long sword. Jeez. That's not enough. Wait, can I sell? I can't sell. What am- Whoa. What does she have? Spirit necklace? 60,000? 60, 60,000 dollar? No! Fully revives its wearer, but only once. 
Water taken from the Holy Spring, it permanently raises max HP. I use it in battle to incapacitate nearby enemies for a short time. Breaks after one use. That's stupid. <laughs> I'm not buying that. Use in battle to create an illusionary shield that blocks three enemy attacks. One time use. Boo! No. Items suck. Right, I'm gonna buy his longsword. I'm gonna buy his longsword. And then I'm gonna buy this chainmail. There we go. That's good. I need to switch how you get to the menu. Clicking the right stick, I hate that. It, I don't I don't like it. I want I don't want to click the right stick to go into the menu. I wanna click there's a freaking button right here that should have been the menu button. What is what is Y gonna do? Oh, Y is boost. No, oh, damn it. It's freaking but why didn't they make select a freaking button? Select doesn't do jack. It should have been that should have been the menu button at least. Or is this or the start button? The start button should have been the freaking magic button. Whatever. Hey, dude, I need you to temper my weapon. Start does nothing. Start does absolutely nothing. I'm pressing start right now. I'm getting out of his shop. I'm pressing. Look at. Here, hear it. I'm pressing start. Does nothing. You have to click the right stick to go to your menu. I can change it in the settings. I'd have to go to the settings though. I don't want to do that in the middle of the game. I don't think I could change it mid game though. It's not it's not even in the menus. It's not it's not here. Always dash, whole attack to use magic. Double d that one always dash. Um, and that's it. I'd have to I'd have to do the configuration um, from the Steam menu. I'll do that. I'll do that next time though. Holy crap, you need seven to level that up in it? Why? Why? I don't want to wear this one. I can level this one up. That one's at max. This one's level. This one is strength 20. Str add strength 4. But this one's 34. I, I, you know what, I'm going to level that up to max. Whatever, I'll max, I'll max this out, but I, I don't like that. I just, I didn't have enough even to level up one of these. That sucks. Hey, Greg, look at the, look at this armor. Like I was saying it in the other games, but the East series really, really liked, you know, they didn't just show generic looking armor. They actually put in time. For like the armor design of each one it's always unique and it's always detailed it always looks really nice I, I appreciate that in every in every game it's been different in every game it looks different and like I appreciate that they they took the time to make decent looking like like weapon and armor art But now, even though I just leveled up into these equipments, I'm gonna wear these because because they're worth more. Look at this one is defense eight with with added defense two, so it's ten. This is sixteen. Why am I not gonna wear this one? I didn't even get a shield. There's no shield. I wonder if this. I wonder if <gasps> little girl, what are you doing in the well? We can't play outside of town. So me and Hugo are playing hide and seek. He, he's it, and I thought this would be a real good hiding place. But I'm a little scared because look, you can see something shiny at the bottom. What is that? It could be a shiny monster, or maybe it's treasure. Arr. But it could be sharp treasure. Ow. What? Ado pulled up a shiny object from the bottom of the well. I got Ravel Ore. God dang it. If I just held on to the five that I just used to upgrade. God dang it. I could have leveled up with my sword at it. Damn it! I should have no. God dang. Whatever. Whoa, dude. What are you doing here? Oh, what to do? Oh, what to do? With the quarry closed, I'll never get my hands on any Ravel ore. My investors will all drop me, and I'll be ruined. I don't look forward to the mountain of death that await me when I get back to Rom. Failure. Thy name, is Antonio. I got some Ravel ore. But wait, you're the type that people randomly send on quests, aren't you? Please, sir, send me some Ravel ore. If you can find me just enough to keep my backers from breaking my kneecaps, I'll buy it from you at a, 
I'll buy it from you at a fine price. What do you think, stranger? An irresistible offer, no? <laughs> I swear I'll pay handsomely for it. You have to spend money to make money. After all, just ten pieces. Ten pieces of rainbow ore. What are you buying? What are you selling? Hold on, I want to look around. There's people. There's people out and about now. I'm very worried. If only I tried a little harder to stop Father Pierre. Stop him from what? What is he doing? Where did he go? Where did the father go? I'm very worried. Okay. Where did he go? And why am I gonna have to go after him now? Heh, <laughs> I guess I was worried about you, mister. You really saved the mayor. Man, you must be super duper strong. He's not here right now, but Chester was super duper strong like that too. You gotta tell me something. How do you beat those monsters? Promise me you'll tell me, Mr. Adol. Um, I think they changed like the art in this because I remember there was there was like a there was a cute looking uh, like like uh, NPC somewhere and she talked like really funny. I was like, oh, that's cute. Um, I don't know. I don't think it was the girl over there. I think it was. I remember something different. I think she she talked about like being a pirate or something like that. I remember something like very piratish. Let's talk to the drunk guy. <sighs> you know, I left my wife in some of hide a carbon. I wonder how they're doing these days. If you can work at night, you're in for an easy ride. Life becomes like a box of chocolates. My wife was dead set against the whole idea, but I did it anyway. And what do you know? She was right, as always. Don't tell her that. Now give me another one, uh, another pint. Bring it to me. All right, let's go talk to Elena. <laughs> Enough dilly dallying. Let's go talk to. Wait, wait. Did I go in this house? Oh, let's talk to the mayor. It just bothers me that you had to fight such a huge creature. To say nothing of it having that evil-looking statue in its possession. I have to wonder if that statue may have been what McGuire was after when he shut down the quarry. What? Yeah. Yeah, what do I do with the statue? Where is it? Uh, statue found at the Tigray Quarry houses power beyond human comprehension. And it's hot. It's a hot demon lady. Can I sleep? I can't sleep. Alright, let's go talk to Elena. She's lonely. Lena, I found your brother, girl. Wait. Oh, god dang it. I was about to go check something real quick. Chester. Adol. I'm sorry. I just got a lot on my mind. My brother, he gave me this pendant. He left here in an... It, he left it here in a letter for me on the day he vanished. I guess it makes me feel closer to him when I wear it. But in reality, he was closer than I ever realized all this time. I'm so sorry, Edo. So many horrible rumors have been going about around about my brother. And then, to hear the man who raised me confirm them all? I, I just, I want to know what's happening and why. He must have a reason, right? Maybe I'm being selfish. I should just be grateful he's alive. In a way, it's like a weight I've been carrying for the last six months has been lifted from me. I may not know what's going through his mind just yet, but I do know that if I, if I could talk to him, just talk to him, then things might go back to normal. So, don't worry about me. I'll be okay. But thank you for your concern, Adol. I really do appreciate it. Oh, no problem, girl. Let me just let me just talk to you a little bit more. So, what Father Pierre said was true. He mentioned that he'd caught sight of a man who looked like my brother in front of the ruins to the northeast. That's where I was heading when you found me. I went out to see if I could catch sight of him myself. Why would he want to go to such a ghastly place, though? Remember, the northeast. Hint, hint, wink, wink. <laughs> just, just tell me where to go. Ah. <laughs> uh... 
Unless, <laughs> unless like an NPC stops me right now, I think that's where I have to go. I have to go northeast now. You could actually went, you actually went into this mine, the scary monster infested mine, all by yourself, just to rescue our mayor. <laughs> it's like you're some kind of mythical hero from a storybook. Your name is Adol, right? I hear you're one of those sword wielding adventure types who go on around saving the world. Doki certainly has good taste in best friends, it seems. He always spouting nonsense and playing practical jokes on people. I just don't know what to do with him. Um. Okay, I think there's not there's nothing else for me. Okay, let's let's go to the northeast. Let's find out. Let's see what we're doing here. Oh God. Oh wait, let's talk to the old man. Hey, Adol. Good going, getting everybody home safe and sound. I don't know how you did it. But you really saved the day. Though it seems we have another missing person. Father Pierre left the town a while ago and has yet to return. I need to stop letting people talk to me into allowing them outside. Oh. I gotta go find the freaking priest now. Okay, hold on. I There's gotta be some kind of clue. There's gotta, someone has to give me a clue as to where he went. The town folks have never liked the count much. Yeah, uh, blah blah blah. Rumor hired things of Roman. Okay, no, no. Thank you. Right. Oh, you done a great service. You took down the giant monster. You've been telling me talking about your red hair because it's so red. I can't hardly say I'm proud of having you under my roof. Now go. Don't. Don't. Ah. <laughs> uh, okay, someone has to give me a hint. Maybe these guys that are just standing here. As I'm sure you noticed, the quarry is basically nothing but a huge monster nest at the moment. We could deal with Mr. McGuire breathing down our necks, but the monsters pose a real threat. As much as I hate to do it, we're actually going to shut down mining operations for however long we need to. Bull, been lots of bad things happening at the quarry lately. Not too long ago, one of the wooden bridges we built in there came tumbling down. Well, the apprentice miners died in that one. Bob was his name. I can't even bear to think what about it, but I might still cry again. I don't know how we could have ever managed without you, Adol. Mayor Edgar is the only thing standing between us and McGuire's oppressive tyranny, and without you, he'd be gone. The quarry's closure will hit us like a ton of bricks, but we'll manage. As long as we have Mayor Edgar, we'll survive. I'm gonna have to go to back to that. I'm gonna have to go back to that mine for something. It's gonna make me backtrack because I can't. Oh shit, I had to come here. I was about to leave town too. Holy crap. Hmm. This has become quite serious indeed. Why would Father Pierre go to such a place? Please forgive me. I should never try to harder to stop him. Not sister, what do you have you seen Father Pierre by any chance? You haven't oh dear, what could you have done? My my such blazing red hair. You must be Adol. I heard murmuring about you amongst the town folk. My name is Nicholas, and I'm head of the Felgana Dossier. Dossis. Whatever that is, I don't know. I was also the town's priest until three years ago. Now I serve at the castle. While Father Piers enlightens the town. I still drop by from time to time, though old habits do die hard, as they say. I fear, however, that my visit today may be a bit less transient than usual, on account of Father Pierre's absence. Are you familiar with the Ilburn ruins to the northeast of here? They are the remnants of a temple used by practitioners of a pagan religion from a long lost era. It would seem that Father Pierre has taken it upon himself to visit that temple for purposes unknown. It's unsafe in every regard. There is a dormant volcano behind it, which has recently become active anew. And popular rumor suggests the place is infested with monsters of all shapes and sizes. All the more reason for concern. One cannot help but fear the worst. Adol, Adol Kristen. They say you're the one who rescued Mayor Edgar from the quarry. Is that true? Given your considerable skill, might I humbly request you undertake another such mission to find Father Pierre? 
Sure, yeah. Such selfless courage. On behalf of the church, you have my deepest gratitude. I believe you will be needing this. I got the ruin key! The Ilburn ruins are just off the road to the northeast of here. This key opens the access gate. Please do whatever you can to ensure the safety of Father Pierre. May God be with you. Fight well, adventurer. You mean the goddesses? Goddesses! I know the two goddesses! I don't know if there's any more. There might be more. I don't know, they're not very clear. It doesn't say that the goddesses create everything. It just say that it just says that they're goddesses. So like Fina and Rhea, are they like are they just are they just two of like many gods? When East was just gods apparently? I don't know. Let's save it to there. Alright. So going back to the mines is not gonna do anything. I need to um I need to go to the thing, but uh, it said northeast. But did where did I come from when I came on the boat? Was it over here? I feel like it might have been over here. It feels like an alternate path, though. Oh wait, I have a map. What am I thinking? Oh, this is the mines. Oh, the docks are over there near the thing. Oh, okay. Oh, so I went to the right place. <laughs> well, <laughs> all right. Uh, we'll save it right there. Open sesame. The ancient pagan site. <laughs> There's owls here. They're flying enemies. Oh my god. These bastard these bastard owls. I really need a Oh what the oh look at this wolf man! Holy shit, you look cool! Hey, how much experience do you give me? Uh, I'm at 1228. Uh, that gave me... Bleh. That was only like 40 something experience. I need more of the, I need more of those other enemies. They gave me like a hundred. Wait, hold on, let's see what this is. Uh, 1186. 1186. Oh, okay. See, wow. Okay. Damn, that gave me like 170 experience. Hey, crazy. I'm going off to bed, but you want to say hi? Thank you for stopping in, crazy. Have a good night, okay? Uh, let's see. That one gave me. Is he dead? Oh, he is dead. <laughs> he. What was with that delayed death? Oh, cause he explodes. He freaking explodes, that's why. We got kamikaze, like whatever the hell these things are. Ah, did that hurt me though? Oh, sure does, ow. Whoa, that really hurt. That really hurt. Hold on, I wanna go back. That one guy has really good experience. 729. Where is he? This guy. 729 down to, wow, he gives me like 140 experience. But he's so far away from the zone. Let me see if I can find a closer guy. Let's see. There's gotta, there's gotta be one. And not these dumb birds. There's a lot of birds here. Oh, I forgot I have magic. Oh, sh holy shit, they're, they're dive kicking. Ah. Better get rid of them. Gotta get rid of them. The boys. Gotta get rid of the boys. Oh, wolf. 
Oh, wow, look, there's a wolf right into the zone. If I can only find a zone that has that little magician guy, that'd be nice. Let's go left first. Oh, yeah. Look at this. They're whipping it. Whip it good. I better be careful. I only have I don't have that much HP. <laughs> I just realized I'm still that explosion really hurt. Okay. Wow, you you really notice like how slow he runs before you get the dash. I hope I get the dash soon. Um Oh, fire does not hurt this guy. Oh, look! I see some. Look at this. Look at this. I just noticed it. Puzzle. Look at these things are lit on fire, but that one isn't. But if I do light this one up. Yeah! Puzzle skill. Ow! Oh, thank God I leveled up. I was so close to dying. Well, wait, hold on. What? What? How do I get over there? I don't have a jumbo jumbo there. I need some kind of double jumper there. Whoa, there's... Hold on. Let's see how much... Okay, 2275. Uh, I still get like 120 from those guys, and there's like two of them. Hold on, wait, hold on. What do these guys give me? Holy shit, I can't hurt them. That was magic. Holy shit, I can't hurt them. Okay, hold on. I like this spot because there's two of these guys. There's three of these guys. This is this is grinding spot. This grinding spot, I find. 1840. Let's see what one run goes. I'm at 1840 right now, right? 1840. Okay. Okay, now let's. Oh crap, I better not die. I went down uh, 1840. I went down almost 400 experience. So if I, uh, if I kill them a couple times, I might level it up. But I gotta watch out for these bastard kamikaze enemy oh my god Ugh. oh my god I'm gonna die I need a power up I need a heal I need a heal I wasted my boost I wasted my boost god dang it I need to find a save point I need to find a save point screw these guys don't touch them don't touch them don't let them touch you find save point I need to find a save point. I'm gonna die. No! No! <laughs> uh, no! I need to find save point. I need sanctuary. Uh! Oh wow, look at all these mages. Look at all these delicious enemies here. Okay, ma might be able to level up right here. Oh, I am tempting fate right now. I got the small shield. Yes. Give me that. It doesn't heal me though. Oh, thank God I got some I got some HP somewhere cuz I'm at 28. Okay. But this spot, this is this is too good to pass up. This is actually a better spot right here. Love it, love it. Okay, we're out of here. I'm good. I'm good. I think I, I think I got. I'm strong. Let's just move on. Ooh. Oh, where to go? Where to go? Where to go? In the sale at Best Buy is in Legacy Collection. Oh, it should it should be. Uh, yeah. Well, if it's the if it's the Mega Man X Legacy Collection, it should be both games. Because otherwise, it's only it should only be twenty bucks for the individual. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's a chest down there. 
I got Ravel Ore. I have nine pieces. I have nine pieces right now. Yeah, this game is more platformy than the other ones. This is like the first. Oh shit. Oh god, there's multiple paths. Wait, what's this? Oh shit! Ah! It's a good thing I leveled up in it. Is. This might have been. This might actually might have been difficult if I didn't prepare myself. Booyah! I got the Kato Elixir. What is that? Oh, for the original Mega Man X collection. Oh. Not the X collection. Oh, okay, I see. Oh, permanently raises my... It's a freaking Cell Santa Panetica. Panetica. Blah, 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 blah. That thing. Yeah, I, I own the Lega I own Legacy Collection One on on PS4. I don't I don't think I oh shit ow I don't own the second one. I I really should probably pick that up. Or I might just wait. I might cause cause I wouldn't mind having all of like Mega Man on my Switch, having both the original collection and and um, the X collection because. Uh, 11 will come out. I'm pretty sure I'll get that for Switch. I just feel like original Mega Man, like, the correct console to own it on is, like, a Nintendo console. Like, like it's still good to be on, like, the other systems, but I feel like it feels uh, right to be on a Nintendo, because that's where I played Mega Man before was the Nintendo console. Okay, I'm going back, because there, that looks like that's the way. And I don't want to go the way right now. I want to go the other way. I want to know what those other paths lead to. There's probably a save room in one of them. Or trap. Another trap room. With more Rave. Ooh! Okay, yeah, look. Okay, look. There's enough there to level up my sword once. Uh, or give it to the guy for, like, money. I don't know. I might give it to the guy. I feel like I feel like I'll get through the game quicker to where I won't need I won't really need the upgrade. I'll just get the next weapon and it'll be way stronger. Did his appearance change? Oh, look, his appearance changed. Oh yeah, look. Look at that nice little touch that they did in this game. They actually changed Adol's armor depending on what he's wearing. That's awesome. That's that's going the extra mile. That I appreciate that. I appreciate that a lot. Wait, I came from down here, right? I did. Okay. Okay, so I can go okay, I can go this path now. This is the right path. Da -da. Yeah, do this every time. They don't just stay lit up. Uh. Um, let's see, I went down here, and then that was a trap room. Ooh, holy crap. Were you that strong that I leveled up on one? Hold on, I gotta find out. I gotta find out. Wait, let's find out right here. I'm at 3419. Whoa! That was... That was a hundred and something experience. That wasn't bad. Let's go back over here. Let's see what this path leads. All these mages, what are you protecting? All these mages, what are you guys protecting here? You gotta be protecting something here. Ah! Wait, hold on, this might be, uh... 
Ooh. Hold on. I need explosion. I need a power to power explosion. Oh no! I need some kind of mind. Oh! I need like the mind ability. Is that what I'm gonna get from here? I've already committed. I've already committed to this side. I might as well keep going down this one, this one path. I'm gonna have to go back. I'm gonna have to go back and see where the other path took me. Oh my god, it keeps going! Where are you gonna end? I need some kind of like stopping point, something that pro that holds my progress, so I can go check out the other route. Unless I'm going like exactly the route I'm supposed to. Holy shit! Okay, I need a. Okay, I'm going back. I can't. I can't like. I can't keep going because I've already gone through like several hallways. So like, the other path has to lead to some kind of treasure or key. Because I shouldn't be going this this route continuously. I should be coming to some kind of halt point. And I feel like if I continue on. I'm going to run into I don't know. I'm gonna go check this thing. I'm gonna go check this room over here. I could be defeating these enemies, but only if they're in my way. No going back. No looking back. Kill them on the way, and then don't look back. Ah! Wait, where did that open? Where did that open? I lit this on fire. Where did it open? Oh, it moved the wall. Look at this. Look at it. I would have completely missed this Ravel Ore. or it wasn't it wasn't a new item it wasn't a key item it was Ravo or <sighs> okay this is this, another example of my RPG sense is just taking me in the right direction my damn good sense of direction in RPGs taking me right where I need to go and not the side areas that I want to go to I appreciate it when I do get to, like when I do go the way that I want, but other times I don't want to just go directly to where I want to go. I want to, I want to explore the side areas, get the treasures, see what, see what like the other parts of the dungeon have. But no, sometimes it just guides me in the right direction. Uh. What level am I? I'm level 13. I'm gonna imagine that the, the the max level is the same throughout the E series. I feel like it would be like that. I come across so many there's so many forks in the road um hold on okay this looks like an empty room you know it's funny I also have to I have to go all the way back I don't have a I don't have a quick warp item or anything like that once I'm done with the dungeon I gotta run all the way back Ooh! I got another ruby! Power up my freaking Hadouken! Let's see what level 2 looks like. Let's see what it looks like. Wait, that looks the same. 
it looked the same. It's probably just more powerful. It's just my my flame is just stronger. One 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 of them is just to power it up. The other one is just to boost its strength. Uh oh, this looks important. Um, this, huh? This looks important, but what? Okay, that's em that's a dead end. That must be important for something. All right, well, let's go over here. <gasps> Save point. Boss time. Boss fight. Ritual area. Let's stop this ritual. What? What are you doing here? Wait, who is it? Is that Chester? Or... Oh. I could just as easily ask you the same question, Father Pierre. This is not a fit place for the likes of you. If you value your life, I suggest you leave at once. Chester, you should at least let Elena know what you're doing and that you're okay. She's been worried sick. She's never stopped looking for you after all this time. Not once has she lost hope. There's no, that is no concern of yours, father. Just keep sticking your nose where it doesn't belong. It's liable to get cut off. Well, well, seems these ruins have a little rat problem. He looked into it and apparently the Switch version has slowdown and frame issues and X collection. Oh! Oh God, I hope they patch that. I, I didn't notice any, I played X1 for a little bit and I didn't notice any issues like that. But, I don't know. I'd have to go back and take a real good look at it, though. Edo? I warned you not to get involved. But since you seem incapable of following orders, you leave me little choice. Have at you! Chester Stoller, the black-hearted white knight. Oh. Oh, God. Let me get this in the first try. Let me get this in the first try. You you want to you want to projectile battle? I can projectile battle you. Padooka! That didn't hurt. That hurt him. Magic doesn't hurt him. Okay, I got his pattern down. I got his pattern down. Two two pro four projectiles and then lunge. Oh wait, did he change it up? Ah. Oh, he changed it up. Ah. Ow! Jerk! Four projectiles, then lunge. I knew it! Ow! Ow! Oh. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. So it's almost. No! Ow! 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 It hurt my face! I just have to not get touched by him anymore. Ah! <laughs> I just have to don't get to ah! That worked perfectly, just as I planned. Okay, I, I ow, 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 stop. Okay, get away from me. I got I got his pattern down. I think I got it down. Ow! Ow! How do I get him? How do I get him? I can't I can't avoid that flurry. Ow! Holy! Oh, he's changing it up. He's changing it up. Oh God! Whoa! What was? Oh God! He's changing up his style. Oh my God! Huh. He's changing up his style. Oh 
Oh god. Ugh. I'll cheese you in the corner. Uh. Uh. Run. Oh, yeah. Gotcha, Chester. So, you're not all talk. You actually have some skill. Which means I needed to go easy on you. Stop this, both of you. I'd advise you to stand aside, holy man. Let's see what you're made of. Men, seize them. Wait, who is it? What? Oh, this this guy. I already forgot the voice that I gave him. Well, if it isn't Lord McGuire, may I ask what brings you to such a place, my lord? What brings me? Why, I merely thought I might come to worship at the seat of my future power. And what should I find when I get here but my top knight dealing with an intruder? So tell me, who are these people? Their clergyman. The clergyman is Redmond's head priest, and the swordsman with the red hair is the latest adventurer to cross these lands. An adventurer, you say? Huh. A meddlesome priest is bad enough, but an adventurer simply won't do at all. I imagine he hopes to get his hands on my statues. No matter. I will dispose of him here. If that is your will, my lord. I know of a place nearby that is most suitable for meting out a man's final judgment. I believe you'll find it quite to your liking. Hmm. Will I now? Very well then. Take me there at once. As you wish. Oh no! Where is he dropping me in? <laughs> A precipice high above the lava pit. How quaint. This should make quick work of him. Alright, do it. If you'd simply minded your own business as I ordered, this wouldn't be necessary. But now your fate is sealed. Ugh! He special moved me into the freaking pit. Holy shit. Fall damage. <laughs> How could you? God will never forgive this sinful behavior. <laughs> you certainly do like to prattle on, Father. Take him to the dungeon. Chester, you're doing well. I leave the rest in your capable hands. You honor me, my lord. I shall find the statue here without fail. Oh, oh, oh God. Oh, right in the balls. <laughs> Where did he hit me? Into the lava zone. <laughs> and why is it so quiet in the lava zone? The escapeless abyss, the zone of lava. Oh, God. <laughs> 